Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We want to hear from you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or skin health formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to be your go-to source for no-nonsense, clear nutritional health information. We want to help you change your life today. If you're on a prescription drug or multiple prescription drugs, and you want to wean yourself off of them, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're in the Texas area, Dallas, Texas area, Denton, Texas area, I'll be doing a talk at 3420 Elm Bottom Circle in Aubrey, Texas, zip code 76227 this Saturday, the 13th of August. It's an entire uh, weekend, actually Friday night and Saturday, of longevity information. I'll be going on at 3.30, and I'll be talking about the longevity products as well, some general health ideas, things I call the bright side philosophy. I will also be in the Chicago area, Glendale Heights, Illinois, zip 60139, if you want to map quest it at the uh, Armada Hotel and Conference Center, 7080 North, 780 North Avenue in Glendale Heights, Illinois. That's Tuesday, August 16th. So if you're in the Chicago area, we'd love to see you. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team and starting a, a longevity business if you want to make a little money or make a lot of money. You can have your own business for a one-time $25 fee. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470, and they can tell you all about it. And then uh, let's see what else. Truthtreatments.com for our Truth Skin Health products, including our retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or if you have some accelerated aging, or if you want to prevent the aging process, nothing beats retinol, but you need a high concentration, and that's why I came up with my retinol 5% gel. You will know that you put on retinol. It's not irritating, really, but it will cause some flaking and some peeling, and you'll have some nice, fresh, beautiful skin that comes up underneath. Our retinol 5% gel is made with lots of vitamin C, fat-soluble, lipophilic, premium vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no waxes, no water, no oil, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, so last we spoke, we were talking about milk and the fallacy of the low-fat dietitian dogma that still passes, unfortunately, for conventional nutritional wisdom. According to the American Dietetic Association, quote, a low-fat diet is the best-studied weight-loss dietary strategy and is most frequently recommended by governing health authorities. Fat is the most energy-dense macronutrient, but is known to have a weak effect on satiation, that is, satisfaction, unquote. 
In other words, low-fat diets are, according to health authorities, the best weight loss diet, and fat does not satisfy. Both statements are based in dogma, unfortunate dogma that has plagued mainstream health professionals and innocent people, unwitting innocent patients, unfortunately, who listen to mainstream conventional wisdom. The idea that fat makes us fat is simplistic and it is not necessarily correct. Yes, it's true, fat does contain a lot of energy. Fat contains more calories, gram for gram. It's the most calorie and energy dense of the three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. So theoretically, fat can make you fat, but, and this is important, and not understand what I'm gonna say here is what accounts for the misunderstanding of the role that dietary fat plays in weight gain. This is so important. It is not just the fat that causes the weight gain. It is the fat in the presence of insulin that causes the weight gain. Fat does not affect insulin. Carbohydrates affect insulin and protein will affect insulin. It's when we eat a lot of fat in combination with insulin raising foods. This is the problem. It's not just the fat. You can eat all the fat you want and you're not going to gain as much weight as if you ate uh, a little bit of, or a smaller amount, I should say, of carbohydrates and protein because it's the insulin that's the problem. Now, I'm not saying that you want to eat a lot of calories and sit, around, sit on the couch all day and not do anything. You want to expend those calories, but it's not, the point I'm making here, it's not just the fat that makes us fat. And you can't go low fat and still eat the same amount of food and the, and the carbs and the protein and expect to lose weight. Even protein has a weight gain effect, as we've said so many times in this program, if you're not using the protein. If you're not using the protein, the protein is going to get turned to fat. And the carbohydrates will get turned to fat. So fat is a problem if you're eating it in the presence of other insulin-containing foods. But on the other hand, if you eat just fat, if you eat fat with a moderate amount of protein, and you keep your carbs down to a minimum, this is one of the best weight loss strategies anyone could ever use. And it also has multiple benefits. When we eat high fat in the presence of, or without the presence of a lot of carbohydrates and a moderate amount of protein, not only do we lose weight, but our brain works better. Our heart works better. It's easier for us to build muscle if we're athletes, we perform better. There are so many, if we're dealing with cancer or if we want to not deal with cancer, if we want to prevent the cancer, this is a great strategy for preventing cancer. That's the ketogenic diet. High fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrates. The thing about fat is in nature, Fat is always found in combination with other substances that help the body use the fat. You're always going to find fatty vitamins in conjunction with fatty foods. You're going to find vitamin A in conjunction with fatty foods. You'll find vitamin D in conjunction with fatty foods. You'll find lecithin in conjunction with fatty foods. You'll find cholesterol in conjunction with fatty foods. What do all these things have in common? They're all building substances. Fat fatty vitamins, cholesterol, these are all lecithin phospholipids, these are all important for building things. And they're very filling and satisfying despite what the American Dietetic Association says. There's a reason why the most important building food there is, is fat based. The most important body building food there is, is dairy. This is, the, um, uh, this is the function of dairy. It's to build things. Eggs are building or, or building food. Meat is a building food. But by far and away, the most important building food in nature is dairy. That is the very purpose of dairy. And it's no accident that dairy is mostly fat or is largely fat. Between fat and protein, you have most of what dairy is or, or what milk is after you take the water out. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back. 
back on the bright side. I'm Farm Spend. Got lines open for you at 844 236 6010. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the bright side. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program like the Longevity program, we can help you. 844 236 6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with accelerated aging or you want to prevent accelerated aging or you have acne blemishes, Retinol is still the finest anti-acne topical ingredient you could ever use. But you do need a high concentration, and that's what our Retinol 5% Gel is. You'll find out all about it and the other Truth Treatment products, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream on Truth treatments.com truthtreatments.com and i've gotten so many letters about our bone broth protein amazing tasty delicious filling protein it's got all the protein that's found in bone broth and if you've tried whey protein in the past or egg protein powders in the past or other protein powders and you found yourself getting drowsy or tired you'll notice that when you use the bone broth protein that doesn't happen and the bone broth protein is much easier on the belly than other forms of protein not that whey protein and egg protein are not valuable they certainly are they're very valuable but for folks who can't deal with uh, some of the some of the problems associated with the whey protein or egg protein, you want to check out our bone broth protein. You can find out all about it at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. That's Jordan Rubin's formulation, uh, bone broth protein, chocolate, and vanilla flavor. I personally like the chocolate. Okay, so we're talking about fats, the importance of fat in the diet, despite conventional wisdom, fat in foods, fat in, uh, in nature, is tends to be associated with other building substances and fat is extremely satisfying despite what anybody else uh, what the american dietetic association says fat is found in nature's most iconic building food that is breast milk once you remove the water from breast milk it's nearly 40 percent fat according to the western price foundation the energy content of breast milk is 50 to 60 percent derived from fat and breast milk is packed with cholesterol too. Breast milk is a powerful, powerful food and it's packed with cholesterol. What does that tell you? Cholesterol is incredibly important for building the body. Fat and cholesterol and the fatty vitamins are nature's building substances. The cholesterol in human milk supplies an infant with six times, close to six times the amount that adults, normal adults get from, from cholesterol containing food. So babies are eating lots of cholesterol and breast milk is filled with saturated fat and MCT fat, kind that athletes and bodybuilders use for quick energy. MCT is a dieter's favorite fat, by the way. MCT is utilized for energy and not stored as fat. And that makes MCT super valuable, and coconut oil is nature's best source of MCTs. In my opinion, the fact that breast milk is such a dense source of fat and cholesterol, it really demonstrates that telling a patient or telling an entire society not to enjoy fat, or even worse, to shut down cholesterol production, to literally poison cholesterol-making machinery in the body, is depriving that patient and depriving an entire society of the raw materials the people in that society need for building and growth. Statin drugs are a way to poison an entire society, and we have huge numbers of people on statin drugs, all because some statistics, dubious statistics, show that you can reduce the risks of heart disease by 2% or 1%, and that's a reason to poison the cholesterol-making machinery in the body. That is stupidity of the highest degree, of the highest. For a medical professional who's supposed to be taking care of people, to put them on a statin drug because it will reduce the risks of their heart disease by one or two or three or five percent. Completely oblivious, ignorant of the fact that statin drugs poison the body. They cannot help but poison the body. And by the way, all drugs poison the body. You take a drug, you put it in a petri dish with a human cell, and that cell will die. First, it will run away. And if it can't run away, it'll just die. All drugs are cytotoxic. That means cell toxic. That means they will kill cells. Human beings and all living beings are made of cells. Drugs kill cells. How does this become even acceptable? Uh, how, does, how does this ever become acceptable? Now, I know that sometimes you need drugs. I'm not saying that sometimes you don't need them. But if you're on a chronic long-term drug, 
and your doctor has told you it's going to reduce your risk of this or that without telling you why you got the problem and trying to solve the problem, that's a doctor who has abdicated his responsibility to take care of his patients. And it's not fair. All right, didn't mean to digress, but that's what I think of when I think of statin drugs and shutting down cholesterol production. By the way, do you know breast milk is a source of cannabinoids, the active ingredient in marijuana? Yes. That blissed out appearance on your baby's face as he's nursing and afterwards is what it looks like when a baby's stoned. He's high on cannabinoids. They're called endocannabinoids. They're made in, they're made in our body. Why would, why would cannabinoids, why would marijuana substances, the active ingredient in marijuana, be in breast milk? Is nature that dumb? Is nature ever dumb? Hmm, interesting. Well, it turns out that there's a lot of health benefits to cannabinoids. And by the way, there's a substance, a cannabinoid extract called CBD, which many of you have heard of. And the literature on this stuff is mind-blowing for seizure disorders, for pain, for fighting cancer. And I will be having a really, really nice CBD product up at brightsidehealth.com, hopefully here in the next week or two. CBD, uh, cannabidiol, it's a part of the, it's a, uh, a fraction of the marijuana plant. It's a cannabinoid and it's got tremendous health benefits. So the government wants us taking statin drugs but doesn't want us to have cannabinoids. Go figure. Anyway, and by the way, smoking pot is not a good thing. Smoking anything is not a good thing. I'm not, I'm not an advocate of smoking marijuana. As, as much as I don't think it's fair that anybody tells people what they can smoke and what they can't smoke, it is really not a good idea to smoke pot. Nonetheless, it cannot be denied that there are components in the marijuana plant that have tremendous, tremendous health benefits. And those same components are also found in our brain, in our body. They're called endocannabinoids, and they're found in breast milk. Endocannabinoid levels are also elevated in the womb as the embryo and the fetus are developing. Now, that, that's, that is fascinating. The baby, the embryo, the fetus, as he's developing in the womb, is stoned. I don't know if he's stoned, but, but he's, he's got endocannabinoids there. And maybe that's why they say that fetuses uh, develop better when moms are listening to music. So the baby, the baby loves music and loves the cannabinoids. The, the fetus, the infant, loves music and loves cannabinoids. Probably babies, too. A study in uh, the journal Music Educators Journal in 1985 found that babies exposed to music before birth had longer attention spans than expected for their age and imitated adult sounds more effectively. Another study in 1997 in the journal Pre- and Perinatal Psychology looked at babies enrolled in a program called First Start, which exposed unborn babies to musical stimulation. These babies showed better motor skills, better language development, better cognitive skills from birth to six months than a control group of babies who did not, who were not exposed to musical stimulation. Oh, and by the way, where do you think the cannabinoids in breast milk come from? Where do the endocannabinoids come from? They come from dietary fat. They come from fat in the diet, particularly the polyunsaturated fatty acids that we get from our ultimate EFAs and EFA Plus. Just another reason to supplement with your ultimate EFA and EFA Plus if you're pregnant. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you if you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business formulations, ingredients. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're in the Chicago area, Tuesday, August 16th, that's this coming Tuesday, I'll be at the Armada Hotel and Conference Center, 780 North Avenue, Glendale Heights, Illinois, 60139. It's about 20 miles outside of Chicago, so they tell me. Call Mike at 708-510-6671, 708-510-6671 if you want more information on that one. And this Saturday, August 13th, I'm very excited to say I will be in Aubrey, Texas for my friend Jan Lane, and we have Jan on the line. Jan, are you there? 
Good morning, Jan. I did, too. Leon and I are so appreciative that you're coming this weekend. Um, this is our first ever Longevity Southwestern Expo. There's a group of distributors that want to advance Dr. Wallach's 90 for Life mission here in this part of the country, and we're just so appreciative. You're going to be one of our keynote speakers um, this Saturday, and it's a full-day affair. It's registrations at 9, it starts at 10, ends at 6, and we're going to have uh, product training, business training, and there'll be product sampling, and we even have a, a catered organic Dr. Wallach friendly lunch. Nice. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be really an amazing day. Um, and if someone will email me, I'll send them the link where they can buy their tickets and find out the full agenda and all the details. And my email is JaniceLane90 at gmail.com. That's J A N I C E. L A N 90 at gmail.com and my cell is 251 459 1309. And if you would just put in the subject uh, Ben Expo, then um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get that information to you. Um, and we know that uh, people are coming from far and wide, Ben, to see you. Oh, <laughs> coming nice. as far south as, as Katy, Texas, which is oh, a good five nice. or six hours, and, and as far north as Oklahoma City, oh, um, cool. from the east and the west. So if someone is coming a distance and, and can only be there for, for Ben, or that's all their schedule allows, we have Ben as the last speaker for that reason. So if you get there by 3 o'clock, you'll be able to catch Ben. There'll be a Q&A. And if you've never heard Ben Fuchs live, it is the most empowering health lecture ever. I mean, oh, he just thanks, dazzles Jan. an audience. You're a really charismatic speaker, Ben. Thank and you. it's something to bring guests to um, that have never heard this message. Don't, don't, they don't know that there's another way. And if you're interested in the business, it's a great way to get connected with the other leaders in the area. Uh, it's just going to be a great day. Nah. But we do have... Um, uh, Tickets for uh, $30, they need to be ordered on Eventbrite. I'll send you that link. And that includes your lunch, or it's $15 at the door for guests. Um, and guests, as always, at a Longevity event are free. But there is a lunch if they want lunch for $15. Hey, Jen, and, uh, I, I, don't want, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but you have such a cool story yourself to tell. So oh, if you don't oh, want, oh, can, I, can I ask you just to share real briefly? Because i got a bunch of calls yeah. I want to get to. But, but real oh, briefly, oh, tell, tell a story of, uh, of your health, health story and, and, and how you got involved with Longevity real briefly, if you don't oh. mind. I will. Um, and my husband just told me I gave my email address incorrectly. It's Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E, Lane, L-A-N-E, 90, at gmail.com. Um, but, yeah, here's, here's our story, Ben. Um, my husband and I have gone through a, a rough patch in 2008. won't go into details, but it uh, really affected our health. It's like you talk about it all the time, about stress. It's, it's like drinking poison every day. And mm -hmm. our body, our health just really started breaking down. And I was listening to Alex Jones one day, and Dr. Wallach uh, was his guest. And everything he said just made sense. I always find that the truth always comes in simple packages, right? Nice, nice, And nice. it really resonated. Um, we got on the products, and in the first... Uh, if the first six months, we each lost 40 pounds. My husband went wow. off seven prescription drugs. I was getting sick all the time. I mean, uh, colds, uh, flus, uh, MRSA infections. My immune system just wasn't rallying for me. And uh, I think I've had two colds in the last four years since I've been on 90 for Life. Um, we've kept the weight off. We just have boundless energy. It, it's just you know, no aches and pains, all the little tiny uh, and some big issues that we had and just little nu nuisances like bone spurs and that kind of thing, just have, they've all gone away. Um, and our bodies have just restored health. And now you're paying it forward. Paying it forward. And yeah, it's hard to keep that to yourself. <laughs> It's exactly. So, it's hard to keep it to yourself. Once you've experienced these kinds of changes, you want to you want to yeah. stand on the roof and just scream it to everybody. I know exactly how you yeah. feel. And I'll also, you know, in terms of being on your team, Ben, and, and this goes for anybody that, you know, wants to be uh, on your team. Or you have, I've had so many instances, Ben, where I have taken somebody that is just scared to death from an MD diagnosis, feels powerless, and I've put them on a three-way call with you, and you've just 
you've empowered them to take control of their nice. health. Thank like you. Dr. Wallach Appreciate says, you know, these diseases are self-inflicted. Yeah. So if we did it to ourselves, we can undo yes. it to ourselves. Yes, yes, that's so true. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, that's so true. Well said, Janet. Thank you for sharing your story. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Can't wait to see you. Thanks, Ben. All right, Jan, take care. Thanks for calling. All right, that's Jan Lane, really, really sweet lady. And I will be uh, doing a talk for Jan in Aubrey, Texas, this Saturday, August 13th. Hope to see you all there. Call Jan at 251-459-1309 or send her an email. Uh, I don't remember the email, but you can send her an email as well. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Mark in Ohio. Welcome to the Bright Side, Mark. Hey, Ben, thanks for having me on. Um, sure. I had a question about a uh, supplement that you've mentioned on the show before. I don't know if you've actually went into detail about it, and I was just wanting to maybe get some general strategies on how to use it. Okay. And that is creatine. Ooh. You hear all the different stuff about um, the, you know. What have you heard? Of? Tell me what you've heard of it. Tell well, me what you've I, heard about it. I think it. I went through it all. I, you know, you got different forms of it, and I understand that creatine monohydrate is probably the best. You now have the micronized version of it, which is supposed to uh, uh, redu- reduce uh, nausea and that sort of thing that can occur in some people. And are you, you have, are uh, you a bodybuilder, an athlete, or a weightlifter? Well, or anything like that? Um, I don't know if you I don't know if you remember me. Uh, we I've talked to you on air before, and I've uh, talked to you privately. Okay. Um, I have been uh, underweight for. Uh, a while and I've lost some muscle and I've been uh, wanting to build back up and you know you've recommended the Warrior Diet book and I haven't picked it up yet. Did you read? Oh, uh, it's a great book. But but yeah, um, so you know, uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to get some vigor back, you know. I had some breakdown in my connective tissue. How old are you? I am 34. Okay, you're young. You could turn this thing around quickly. I don't, I don't know if you're bad off or anything, but you could definitely, you could turn around in a year or less. You could be completely, have a completely different body shape in a year or less if you do this thing correct. At the age of 34, you're in the prime of your life, buddy. You're not even at the prime of your life. You're approaching the prime of your life. So uh, here's the deal. Uh, creatine is awesome, awesome stuff. Not just for bodybuilders. It's a building substance. Your body does make its own creatine, but when you supplement it, you can you can bump up the creatine. And what it'll allow you to do is it will allow you to work harder. And that's a very important idea for older folks and also for people with heart disease, as well as obviously for bodybuilders and weightlifter types and athletes. We'll talk about that. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. Hang on, Mark, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Mark in Ohio about creatine. Hey, Mark, you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so creatine, I love the stuff, but you got to work out with it. You can't just take creatine. Creatine helps you work out harder. It doesn't do anything by itself. It just helps your muscles work better. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got that. Okay, so it only works if you're if you're using muscle. Now, if you have a heart problem or it has a lot of muscle on it, in it, heart's a, a muscular type system, you're going to improve heart health. And as it turns out, there's also skin health benefits and there's also brain health benefits to creatine as well because creatine has an energizing effect. That's how that's how it helps the muscles work. It energizes muscle cells. It also does the same thing for nerve cells and for skin cells. It, it, and by the way, for the skin, that's one of creatine's hidden benefits. Love the stuff. Now, as far as the different types go, uh, the monohydrate is, the, is pretty much the best for everybody. Uh, there are different types. Uh, ethyl ester is one type. You can get it micronized, as you said. There's also li- uh, liquid creatine. But I, I use personally, I use the monohydrate every day. The thing about the monohydrate is you need some insulin to get the creatine in the cells, which is why you want to take it with a little fruit juice, a little grape juice or something okay, like so that. That's one of the things I wanted to make sure was valid. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes, creatine has to, get, has to get transported in the cells via the action of insulin. So you want to get a little insulin bump when you do your creatine. In fact, you want a little insulin bump anyway. When you're doing your nutrients when you come home from the gym, a little insulin bump will help your, help your cells utilize your proteins and your aminos and your B vitamins and your creatine and whatever you're using when you come home from the gym. And coming home from the gym is, is the time that you want to do your nutritional supplements. So a little bit of a fruit juice or maybe some banana or something like that to get your insulin going. Going. Uh, fruit juice will get, get it going quicker. Not a whole big glass of fruit juice. Or, you know, you don't want to go crazy on it, but, you know, maybe a quarter cup or something along those lines or, or half a cup, something like that. Okay, awesome. Um, one more thing. I ran into a keto dieter the other day, and uh, he also does the intermittent fasting, and he's 
uh, having issues with kind of uh, wearing down in the middle of the day, I guess, in his work day, kind of. How, how long has he been it, doing the? How long has he been doing the ketogenic diet that, for? That much I'm not sure, and I I, I recommended L carnitine to him. And, uh, uh, MCTs. And MCTs, right? MCTs. And then, um, he also had a, he asked, had a question too about creatine and beta alanine bumping you out of ketosis. Is that an no, issue? No, they, they will not bump you out of ketosis. Neither of those. Okay. So awesome. that, Thanks, Ben. Okay, good to talk to you, Mark. Take care, man. Alrighty. All Take right. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Let's go to Matt in Toronto. What's going on? Good morning, Matt. Hey, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. I just had sure. a question about chronic sinusitis. Okay. Uh, for, how, how can I cure this? And will the you? coffee enema help? Uh you know, a coffee enema is not a bad thing to do, but you got that's not really where your problem is. Your sin, sinusitis is a sign that the body is reacting to something. Mucus secretion is one of the ways the body slimes away toxins. And anytime the immune system is activated, because it's activated as an entire system, everything kicks in, including mucus secretion. And you always, always, always want to regard mucus excessive mucus, whether it's respiratory or whether it's sinus or whether it's uh, uh, coming out of, in the lungs, wherever it is, phlegmy thick, thickness, you want to regard it as an immune system that's been activated. Now, you say sinusitis. Can you describe it a little bit for me? Uh, okay, so it's been around for over 10 years. Would it, uh, no, no. Describe the sinusitis. Okay, so I can't smell anything. Ah, you can't smell I anything. I can't taste anything. Oh, now that not, it might not, that's not necessarily sinusitis. The scan shows, you know, full blockage. It's all white. Okay. I had okay. a okay. Okay. septum repaired by the doctors two years ago. Okay, so you are blocked after up. That, in and it. now it's back again, of course. Uh, okay. Now, are you, do you feel congested? Um, it's better than it was before surgery, but I still really, after about a year and a half, I can't but really taste anything. No, no. Do you feel congested, snotty, mucusy, that kind of thing? Um, not overly. Yes, that's why I'm, 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 it doesn't necessarily sound sinusitis, like sinusitis to me. Sinusitis is, would involve more mucus. It sounds like it might be structural. Nonetheless, look for digestive symptoms first. Try to find things like bloating, discomfort, heartburn, uh, loose stools, constipation, uh, cramping, anything along those lines. Look for those. This is always the first strategy for dealing with a chronic problem. Any chronic health condition so important, you guys. Any chronic health condition that is not mechanical, but that just keeps going on and on and on, the most likely suspect is going to be food and digestion. Whether, it, whether it, that's the only, call, the only um, uh, perpetrator of the crime, so to speak, of the, you know, of the cause of the problem, I don't know. But it almost always will be involved somewhere along the line. And so even if you, even if it, 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 you don't take care of the sinusitis, but you correct your digestive problems, you're going to be, feel better and you're going to live longer. So it always is worth your time to do a food diary and then, uh, and then uh, elimination diet where you write down everything you eat and then eliminate foods. Now for you, Matt, what I would recommend is not eating for a few days and seeing what happens. Follow me? Do you know, by the way, do you know that you have any digestive health issues? Well, that's why I was looking into the coffee enema. Oh, okay. You yeah, there is a bit of that. So. That's where I'd be looking. Then that sounds like a suspect to me. Okay. Uh, and if you want a quick, you, here's even better than a coffee enema. If you don't want to deal with doing a coffee enema, if you fast for a couple of days, you're going to clean the system out, and your bo- anything that was causing the intestine to clog up will start to will start to break break up, and you'll have a bowel movement. So if you can't have a bowel movement, fasting for a couple of days is a great way to clean yourself out, if you know what I'm saying. Clean out your intestine. Uh, It'll also give you another clue to what's occurring, what's causing the problem, because when you start eating again, you'll notice that your sinusitis is going to get worse, probably. And then you'll be able to make an association between foods and your health challenges. Does that make sense? Totally. So I've got a new juicer, so I'm thinking I might use that. You do a juice fast? You can do a juice fast? What kind of juicer did you get? Uh, Kuving uh, B6000. Does it keep the pulp or do you lose the pulp? Uh, it has a bit of pulp, but uh, most You of want that pulp. Left. That pulp okay. is really, really important. The pulp is, is manna for the intestine. Pulp is manna for the intestine, and it's loaded with valuable nutrients for, for not just for the intestine itself, but for the, for the bugs that live in the intestine, as we were talking to Dr. Chucky yesterday. The fiber in vegetables feeds those bacteria, feeds good bacteria. So you need the fiber. And, you know, juicing is great, and I commend you for going for it, but, but really don't lose that pulp. Do something with the pulp if you're not going to 
uh, if you're not going to use it in your juice, which I recommend you do, find some use for it. Bake with it or something because it's very, very valuable for the intestine. I'm guessing that's where your problem is. Get on the Nightly Essence Probiotics. Uh, do three, three times a day. You might want to consider the Fucoid Z as well and digestive enzymes as well. You might also want to consider uh, apple cider vinegar after all your meals for a lot of reasons, but particularly for, these, for the stomach and for the intestine. And it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to consider the ketogenic diet once you get this whole thing straightened out. Uh, uh, and also calorie restriction. That might help you too. Does that help you, buddy? Thank you so much, Ben. That's great. All right, all right Matt. Take care, man. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I want to talk to you about a couple studies here. Actually, we only have about a minute, so I'm just going to tell you about a couple of these things, a couple of these studies that I read and kind of, kind of caught my eye here. Vitamin D research reveals bone health concerns. Adolescents are risking their bone health because they have low levels of vitamin D. How could kids have low levels of vitamin D? That amazes me. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin. It means kids aren't getting out in the sun. Vitamin D is also found in, in foods. Fish in particular is, particular is a good source of vitamin D. Dairy is a good source of vitamin D. Eggs are a good source of vitamin D. You notice the building foods are sources of vitamin D because vitamin D is a building vitamin. It's a summertime vitamin. That's why almost every week you read another article about what vitamin D does is good for the body or what diseases are associated with vitamin D deficiency because vitamin D is invo involves growth and repair globally. The entire, everything in the body benefits from vitamin D. And now we got a, another problem for our kids, uh, at least according to this article, which uh, is from bah, bah, the University of Manchester in England, vitamin D, D deficiency in kids leading to osteoporosis or leading to uh, bone weakness. Diabetics should be wary of paleo diet. This is from the Medical Journal of Australia. People with type 2, type two diabetes should be wary of the paleo diet. The problem with the paleo diet, as we've talked about so many times, is it's a high protein diet, and if you're not using that protein, it's gonna get turned to fat. It's gonna get turned to sugar first, and then it's gonna get turned to fat, and this is why diabetics have to be careful about going high protein. If you're not using that protein, it's not necessarily a good thing to go high protein, and that's, uh, that is the, the big issue with the paleo diet. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening. If you're in the Texas area, hope to see you on Saturday in Aubrey, Texas. Uh, call Jan at 251-Jan Lane at 251-459-1309. She can give you more information. And I'll be in Chicago, the Chicago area, next Tuesday, August 16th. Call Mike at 708-510-6671 if you want more information. If you want to check out our True Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com. And I would absolutely love to have you on The Bright Side Ben team. Please call 866. 735-2470. Tell them you want to join the team and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.